Hello friends, welcome to your own channel Reveal A to Z. In this video, I am going to tell you how to find the square root of a 6 digit number in 10 seconds. So let's start it. So before finding the square root of a 6 digit number, we need to understand one concept that how we can find the squares of them, those numbers whose last digit is 5. Actually this method will be used in finding the square roots of 6 digit numbers or higher numbers. This is a very simple method, so let's go for it. Now if suppose you have to multiply 75 with 75 or if you have to find the 75 square, then the answer is 5625. Now the method is, what you have to do is, in the first step, you have to multiply 7 with 8, this will give you 56. In the second step, you have to multiply the last two digits of the original number, that is 75, so that is 5 into 5, that is equal to 25. So this is as simple as that. In the first step, you have to take the initial number, multiply it with, with the number that is succeeding it. You will get the answer and you have to write the answer from upward downward. Similarly, you can find the square of 35 with 35. It is 3 multiplied by the number following it that is 4. 3 into 4 will give you 12. Similarly, 5 last two digits multiply will give you 25. This is applicable to each and every number that is ending in in the last whose last digit is 5 now now the only thing you need to remember while you are finding the square root of a 6 digit number is the last digit of the squares of first 9 number so the one square last digit is 1 2 square last digit is 4 3 square 9 and so on so this is the only thing that you need to remember while you are finding out the squares of 6 digit or higher numbers now Let's find the square root of 237169. First of all, you will divide the numbers in pairs of 2 starting from the right hand side. So we have 3 pairs, this means the answer will have 3 digits. The first digit F, the second digit S and the third digit T. Now to find the first digit, we will check the square that is smaller and closest to 23 that is the first pair so we can see that 23 the number the square that is smaller to 23 is 16 that is 4 square so your initial digit will automatically become 4 so your first digit is 4 now we will find the second digit and the third digits now first we will find the third digit as the last number is 9 and we can see that only the square of 3 and 7 gives the last digit 9 so the third digit will either be 3 or 7 we are not very sure at this point of time whether it will be 3 or 7 but the last digit will be will be either 3 or 7 now before proceeding further what I will do is we will find the square of 45 why 45 because your initial number is 4 and when we will find the square of 45 what we will get is 2025 now the first four digits of the square of 237169 is greater than 2025 that is the square of 45 so so your second digit will be greater than or equal to 5 if the square would have been greater then your initial digit would have been less than 5 but since the uh, but since the square of 45 is smaller than the first four digit of 237169 so your second digit will be greater than or equal to 5 now this is a very useful tool that will actually help us in determining the second digit in a very quick manner let's see how now we will suppose that our last digit is 7 it's a hit and trial method basically and uh, we'll check it out further so we will see that we we have taken the last digit as 7 and what I'll do is I'll scale that 7 I'll get 49 I'll subtract this 49 from the last two digits of 237169 so what I'll get is 69 minus 49 is equal to 20 I'll ignore the 0 and I'll compute this 2 with the formula 2ts where t is your third digit and s is your second digit now you know 
the t is 7 so this will become 2 into 7 into s then 2 into 7 is 14 now 14 s is equivalent to 2 now you have to see which table of 14 or you can say which table of 4 gives the last digit as 2 now you can see that only 4 multiplied by 3 and 4 multiplied by 8 will give you the last digit as 2 but as we have seen that the second digit is greater than 5 so your second digit will become 8 so your second digit is 8 and your answer final answer is 487 now we have to see before proceeding further whether 487 is correct or not so what we will do is we will use the digital sum method now this is a very simple method in this method you have to add all the digit of this initial number whose square root we are finding so this is 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6 plus 9 will give you 28 you will again add 28 that will give you 10 10 will you will again 1 plus 0 that will give you 1 so the digital sum of 23 71 69 is 1 now you will find the digital sum of 487 into 487 because 487 square is equal to 23 71 69 so what i'll do is i'll add 4 plus 8 plus 7 and multiply it with 4 plus 8 plus 7 i can see that the answer will come 1 as the digital sum matches so our answer 487 is correct if the digital sum would not have matched the last digit would have been 3 and we would have followed the same step from that point now friends your final answer is 487 now let's find out the square root of another big number which is bigger than the uh, number which we have seen so the next number is 53 87 56 again we will divide it into pair of two to each three pairs first second third first digit is seven because seven square is less than 53 third digit will either be four or six as the last digit is six now 75 square 5625 now this 5625 is greater than 5387 so your second digit is less than 5 now by hit and trial i'll take one number either 4 or 6 now in this case i have taken 4 then you will square 4 and subtract it from 56 you will get 40 you will ignore the zero you will compute this 4 with 2ts so you will get 2 into 4 into s that is equivalent to 4 8s 4 8 table 8 into s giving you 4 so this is only possible when s is 3 or 8 now the number second digit we have seen that it is less than uh, 5 so your second digit is 3 so your answer is 734 at this point of time now we will use the digital sum method and we can see the digital sum of 538756 is 7 similarly the digital sum of 734 into 734 will give you 7 as the digital sum as the digital sum matches so your final answer is 734 so thanks for watching this video please subscribe and like and do leave me a comment if you find any if you want to know anything and if you find anything good out in this video thanks for watching